Okay, we have um, everyday statistics for grade 5. So we are quickly going to look at tally and graphs. This topic is tally and graphs under everyday statistics. Then um, statistics is the art of collecting, organizing, summarizing, analyzing, and presenting of data in form of an information which can be used for decision making by companies, governments also use it, then organizations also use it. Now we need to know the meaning of tally. Tally are numbers that are written in a form of a stroke. They are written in a form of a stroke. You can see this, we have one, two, three strokes here, which represents three. So then we have an example on the board. They said 20 pupils took a detection. This is the scores. We want to represent this in a tally table and also in a graphical method. So we want to do the solution. So we follow up with the solution. Okay, now I want to look at the steps on how to solve this question. The first step that we draw a table of value. We'll draw that table of value just now. The other one, you now find the number that appear most. When you talk about the number that appear most, you are talking about the mode. The mode means the number that has the highest frequency. So we are going to find the number that appear most in this question. Then before we now represent it in a bar chart. We're going to represent it in a bar chart. We have pictogram. Pictogram is also a chart, but we are going to represent our own on a bar chart. So we are going to start. They say we should draw a table of values. Take note, in case I give you your own assignment, you have to follow this step. So first of all, draw a table of what? Value. Okay, this is our table of value. <coughs> we have scores. The scores, we are going to pick the scores in a um <clears throat> in an ascending or descending order so we are going to pick it but we are going to use ascending order meaning we are going to start from the smallest to the highest numbers from our question then the number two column is the tally we are going to represent those numbers how many times those numbers appear on that table we are going to use tally to represent it if it's five times we can't one two three four we use the last one to cross it if it's four, you just count one, two, three, four. Leave the answer. Then you come here and write it the number. You come and count one, two, three, four. You write it four. Then the number. Uh, uh, okay, sorry. This is the number of pupils, which is the four that you now write here. So we have one, two, three, three columns in this question. So we are now going straight to the question. So we are going straight to our question. Now, if you watch, we have from 11 being the lowest number to 16 being the highest number. So, we are going to start 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So, that is what we put in our scores column. So, we come, the low, lowest number is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 is the highest number here. So 16. That's where we'll stop. 16 is the highest number. So we have gotten the scores. These are the various scores. 11 to 16. You come to our question. You see that 11 is the smallest number. Why 16 is the highest number. 11 smallest, 16 highest. So we'll number from 11 to 16. Now, the next column is our tally. How do we get here? Look at your table. How many times did you see 11 there? How many times is 11 showing on this table? So let's count. We have 1, 2, meaning 11 is showing 2 times. So we'll go to our tally now to represent it. 11. Is appearing two times one two two strokes then what about the numbers of people so you now count one two that is two come back to our tally the next is 12 let's count how many 12 do we have here 
how many 12 do we have here we have one two three we have three eleven three twelve yeah so we'll come to our tally table and count one two three that is three take note this number of people is when you total everything you are going to total it if you total it you are going to have 20 that they said in the question we are going to have 20 that is in the question you can see they said 20 pupils so if you total that your number of pupils colon if you total it your answer must correspond to 20 if your answer is not corresponding to this 20 or the number they give to you in the question meaning your tally table is wrong your table of figure is wrong so you must check uh, Next one is um, 13. 13. Let's count. 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 4. So we have 4, and we have 4, which is 4. Then the next is 15. Uh, 14, sorry. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, five six we have six fourteen so we can't one two three four you use a fifth one to cross it then you add one to it that is six hope you are seeing it you can't one two three four the fifth one use it to cross it that is five then plus one that is six so we present it here six so the next fifteen then we'll let's go can't one Two, three, four. So fifteen is four. So you can't. One, two, three, four. And write four. And the last one, sixteen. How many sixteen do we have? One. Just one. So we have one sixteen. One. One. So now we are done with our table of value. So we are going to add everything here. If everything we finish adding everything here, it's not up to 20 meaning all the things we are doing since is rubbish. You will clean everything again, start all over from the beginning. So let's add now and let's see. 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 plus 4 gives you 9. 9 plus 6 is 15. 15 plus 4, 19. 19 plus 1, 20. So we are correct. 20. So you see, our answer is correct. It's corresponding to the question that they said. They said 20 pupils. So your number of pupils must correspond with what they gave in the question. If, for instance, at the end, we finish adding everything, I will got 19. I will clean everything again. I will start again. In case you don't happen like that, you will clean everything. Just cancel that work you have done. Go and start again. Meaning you have miscalculated your tally. You didn't count the numbers well. That is the penalty if you add everything together and the number will not correspond with what they give to you in the question meaning you have wronged your tally and you are going to cancel that work and go and start all over again so once you are doing this tally once you are counting the numbers don't look at anybody even if they are giving you ice cream don't look at the ice cream make sure you finish counting before you remove your eyes if you are counting you remove your eyes you will go and start all over again you repeat your work in case of exam that's so why I'm telling you, in case of exam, if you are doing tally work, you don't look at anybody until you are done. So you must do it very well so that your numbers that they gave to you in the question will tally after you finish your tally work. So with our own now, our own is correct. We have 20, meaning we calculated it very well, we counted it very well. So the last step is for you to find, the second step is to find the number that appear most. So on this table, how do you get the number that appears most? The number that appears most is 14 because 14 appears six times. It has the highest appearance in this test. 14. Like six pupils add 14, 14. So they are the highest in this word table. So 14 is the word number that appears most. And how many times did they appear most? Six times more than every other number here. So 14 is our what? number that appear most or mode so our mode step two step two 
our mode is 14 because 14 appear most 14 appears six times so 14 is the mode now the last step we are going to represent this table now of value in a car in a uh, in a uh, bar chart we want to represent it in a bar chart this table you are seeing now we want to put it in a bar chart that is the last step okay now the last step representing our table in a bar chart so we want to draw a bar chart take note a bar chart or a chart is drawn on the what on a on a graph sheet so a bar chart or a chart is drawn on a what on a graph sheet that has the x and the y axis so i'm going to draw our bar chart with the x and the y this is the y and this is our x axis so now we are only going to pick two things here we are going to pick the scores and the number of pupils that's what we are going to pick the scores and the number of pupils that is what we are going to pick here so this place will represent the number of pupils here yeah, will represent number of pupils number of pupils then here is the scores now if you watch our scores the highest is what 16 the highest is 16 so we're going to start from 11 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Then our number of pupils will start from 1 to the highest is 6. Don't forget 3, 4, 5, and 6. So now we are simply going to arrange this according to the numbers and their scores. Now, how many students or how many people scored 11? You look at it on your table. How many people scored 11? How many of them? There were what? Two. So, we are going to draw our bar chart now to represent it. So, 11, there are two. So, I will stop here. So, meaning my bar will fall down. So, it has given me that 11 people scored 2. Sorry, two people scored 11. So that is the representation there. Two people scored 11. You can see my bar. It started from 2 and it was under 11. So the next one is 12. Let's look at 12. 12. How many do we have there? 12 has three people. Three people scored 12. So let's represent it. 12. Three people. So I will start from 3, which is here. I will come down. So it means three people scored 12. So that is the meaning. Then 13. How many people scored 13? 13, four people. So let's go. Four people, 13. The next, 14. Six people scored 14. Let's represent six, which is the highest. So it's here. Now, 15. How many people scored 15? They are just 4. So, you take it from here. Is it? Take note, your bars must not touch each other. You must separate them. It's not a component bar chart. Or it's not a multiple bar chart. Now, the last is 16. How many people scored 16? Just one person scored 16. You can see there, one person scored 16. So, let's represent it. This is one. You trace it. This is one. So that is our final answer to this question. So I'm going to give you assignments. Make sure you follow the step that I took to do your own.